The International Council for Harmonization of Technical Requirements for Pharmaceuticals for Human Use is an initiative that brings together regulatory authorities and pharmaceutical industry to discuss scientific and technical aspects of pharmaceutical product development and registration. The mission of the IC is to promote public health by achieving greater harmonization through the development of technical guidelines and requirements for pharmaceutical product registration. Harmonization leads to a more rational use of human, animal and other resources, the elimination of unnecessary delay in the global development, and availability of new medicines while maintaining safeguards on quality, safety, efficacy, and regulatory obligations to protect public health. History In the 1980s, what is today the European Union began harmonizing regulatory requirements. In 1989, Europe, Japan, and the United States began creating plans for harmonization. The International Conference on Harmonization of Technical Requirements for Registration of Pharmaceuticals for Human Use was created in April 1990 at a meeting in Brussels. IC had the initial objective of coordinating the regulatory activities of the European, Japanese and United States regulatory bodies in consultation with the pharmaceutical trade associations from these regions, to discuss and agree the scientific aspects arising from product registration. Since the new millennium, ICH's attention has been directed towards extending the benefits of harmonization beyond the founding IC regions. In 2015, IC underwent several reforms and changed its name to the International Council for Harmonization of Technical Requirements for Pharmaceuticals for Human Use while becoming a legal entity in Switzerland as a non-profit association. The aim of these reforms was to transform IC into a truly global initiative supported by a robust and transparent governance structure. The IC Association established an assembly as the overarching governing body with the aim of focusing global pharmaceutical regulatory harmonization work in one venue that allows pharmaceutical regulatory authorities and concerned industry organizations to be more actively involved in ICH's harmonization work. The new assembly met for the first time on 23 October 2015. Structure The IC comprises the following bodies IC Assembly IC Management Committee Medra Management Committee IC Secretariat The IC Assembly brings together all members and observers of the IC Association as the overarching governing body of IC. It adopts decisions in particular on matters such as on the adoption of IC guidelines, admission of new members and observers, and the IC Association's work plans and budget. Member representatives appointed to the Assembly are supported by IC coordinators who represent each member to the IC Secretariat on a daily basis. The IC Management Committee MC is the body that oversees operational aspects of IC on behalf of all members, including administrative and financial matters and oversight of the working groups WGs. The Medra Management Committee MC has responsibility for direction of Medra, ICH's standardized medical terminology. The Medra MC has the role of managing, supporting, and facilitating the maintenance, development, and dissemination of Medra. The IC Secretariat is responsible for day-to-day -day management of IC, coordinating IC activities as well as providing support to the Assembly, the MC and working groups. The IC Secretariat also provides support for the Medra MC. The IC Secretariat is located in Geneva, Switzerland. The IC WGs are established by the Assembly when a new technical topic is accepted for harmonization, and are charged with developing a harmonized guideline that meets the objectives outlined in the concept paper and business plan. Face-to-face -face meetings of the WG will normally only take place during the biannual IC meetings. Interim reports are made at each meeting of the Assembly and made publicly available on the IC website. 
Topic process of harmonization IC harmonization activities fall into four categories, formal IC procedure, Q&A procedure, revision procedure and maintenance procedure, depending on the activity to be undertaken. The development of a new harmonized guideline and its implementation the formal IC procedure involves five steps. Topic. Step 1, Consensus Building The WG works to prepare a consensus draft of the technical document, based on the objectives set out in the concept paper. When consensus on the draft is reached within the WG, the technical experts of the WG will sign the Step 1 experts sign-off sheet. The Step 1 experts technical document is then submitted to the Assembly to request adoption under Step 2 of the IC process. Topic. Step 2A – Confirmation of consensus on the technical document Step 2A is reached when the Assembly agrees, based on the report of the WG, that there is sufficient scientific consensus on the technical issues for the technical document to proceed to the next stage of regulatory consultation. The Assembly then endorses the Step 2A technical document. Topic. Step 2b – Endorsement of draft guideline by regulatory members Step 2b is reached when the regulatory members of the Assembly further endorse the draft guideline. Topic. Step 3 – Regulatory consultation and discussion Step 3 occurs in three distinct stages, regulatory consultation, discussion, and finalization of the Step 3 expert draft guideline. Stage 1, Regional Regulatory Consultation, the guideline embodying the scientific consensus leaves the IC process and becomes the subject of normal wide-ranging regulatory consultation in the IC regions. Regulatory authorities and industry associations in other regions may also comment on the draft consultation documents by providing their comments to the IC Secretariat. Stage 2 Discussion of regional consultation comments. After obtaining all comments from the consultation process, the EWG works to address the comments received and reach consensus on what is called the Step 3 Experts Draft Guideline. Stage 3 Finalization of Step 3 Experts Draft Guideline. If, after due consideration of the consultation results by the WG, consensus is reached amongst the experts on a revised version of the Step 2B draft guideline, the Step 3 expert draft guideline is signed by the experts of the IC regulatory members. The Step 3 expert draft guideline with regulatory EWG signatures is submitted to the regulatory members of the Assembly to request adoption at Step 4 of the IC process. Topic. Step 4 – Adoption of an IC Harmonized Guideline Step 4 is reached when the regulatory members of the Assembly agree that there is sufficient scientific consensus on the draft guideline and adopt the IC Harmonized Guideline. Topic. Step 5 – Implementation The IC harmonized guideline moves immediately to the final step of the process that is the regulatory implementation. This step is carried out according to the same national, regional procedures that apply to other regional regulatory guidelines and requirements in the IC regions. Information on the regulatory action taken and implementation dates are reported back to the Assembly and published by the IC Secretariat on the IC website. Topic. See also Topic. Notes Topic. External links Official website 
Analysis: New IC M2 requirements into ECTDNMV equals RPS. <laughs>